Hi guys, all the noobs and haters, it's Nelly from ITD, enjoy its video. Oh, but guys, so this is a video from 2015. I hope you guys will enjoy that. Now, Dizzy, tell us something. Hey guys, it's Dizzy from In the Dark, and this is Clash with Ed. It's wartime. Oppa guys, so this video is from May 2015, so it's over seven years ago. Uh, whoa, we've been clashing for such a long time. Now, this is something, uh, it, 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 this gives a good idea of how clashing was at back at those times because, well, the war is still in continuous. They have four one stars. I think they had 14 attacks, we had 11 attacks, and it was seven to eight with three stars. Uh, we won this, if I don't remember uh, uh, wrongly but the problem here was that we have a maintenance coming so I had to record immediately otherwise I would lose all the replays and they came on random stuff and you know this is one of the biggest biggest rivalries in Clash history which is um, the Vietnamese uh, plus the world against in the dark and this is PyMD uh, one of the greatest attackers of all time with his hoggies and to take a little zip of water uh, this is something you'll still enjoy. And look at those beautiful, beautiful blue, blue walls. I miss those. Today's blue is nothing like that. Town Hall 10 times. Oh, life was much different. Look at the golems being used. Here it's going to be four golems and some hoggies. It is just crazy and an upa upa spell. It is just nuts and see here already at those times you have cleanup troops. If you don't take care of that, you nobody was spamming at those times in in, in big wars. You 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 don't get to be in a good clan if you spam. It's just awful. Look at that opening the base getting stuff in, king also, and there was no poison, guys, so this is the zap game, and if you fail to zap the witch, you, and you can hear that the witch died, that is so important, if you failed that, you did have a lot, a lot, a lot of problems, it means your raid is basically over, and remember, the town hall didn't fight back until town hall 12, so this is okay, it is safe, Town Hall 10s don't fight back, and we're gonna have still three Healy Healy spells for the Hoggy Hoggy Hoggies. Look at this beauty of an attack of PyMD. It is just amazing. Amazing. Makes me want to go and hog something, but I will I will save your eyes from that. It goes to the comedy side. I remember when I did a bet with Nelly and lost and had to do a hog raid, and, and it was one of the funniest things of the whole year and i think it, it's a fail on town hall 9 or something like that it's not that bad as you know failing town hall 9s these days because there's a couple of town halls in between but still it was it was entertaining and look at this here we go just watching this uh, and, and i know there's a lot I, I want to do these videos because i know these attacks were an inspirational thing for a lot of people enjoying clash and uh, getting into the high level of clash scenes because back at these days there were no tournaments we did our owns we did our own lists and it was it was just a different different world and i i so like doing these videos and i should do more and i want to do one per week at least uh, it's something that i owe you guys for being amazing and and following me for such a long time but look at this ah and it's 99%, so it is not even a triple. What a ripoff. That is not fair. Okay, so let's go and see something else. What do we have here? What do we have here? What are we going to select? And yeah, I think we'll take Danny's right if I remember correctly on this one, because I just quickly browsed this through. Just to know what I'm doing. And a little, little bit of cutting since it was 20 minutes long. Because there was a lot of standing stills and stuff. So here we go. Guys, I will quickly tell you about my patron and the bases. Check this out. There's a clan with 25 win streak. And they lost that because they could not 3-star my base. 
This is how good the tested bases are. You can get them from the 50 tier. We've been doing this since 2016 and still getting better and better and better. And also, if that is too much for you, you can all get two sets on the 30 tier per month. Or then you can get lower tier bases, which are not tested, but they're very, very, very good. So, guys, go to Patreon. Link is description. Go there. Get those now. Upa. Some la 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 And with the golems up front. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the memory lane. And yet again, as you can see, a zap. Actually, not a zap. At that time, it was called a lightning spell. And it took out two slots, as did the freeze. And then later, it changed a bit. But yeah, this is it. We have three wall breakers and an Opa Opa spell. And yeah, <laughs> Oh, the good old times. Look at this. We're going to open up the base from there. Yes, we are. And there we go. Golems are taking a big beating. King always comes last because you can see you need to clear the trash out of the way. Otherwise, it is problematics, full of problems and problematics. But now we don't have problematics since we can just focus on getting the base destroyed look at this beauty coming up here i'm still so sad that fine's attack was not a triple still hurts attacks like that 99 percent. that was the good old hog days but it was even the better one then it was a one star 99 percent. and here we start to fly look at this look at this see the calmness in the deployment it's like you know <clears throat> I see people doing lava loading and they're in a hurry to deploy everything. No hurry. Just chill and calm. Chill and calm. And look at that rage. Oh, it is getting stuff done. And guys, this is a content where I can't see anywhere because, well, most of the people doing Clash videos these days weren't even born when we started to Clash. <laughs> uh, yeah, here you can see the announcement for the maintenance because it was... Announced somewhere in the interwebs. But yeah. Soon it will be like that. We've been clashing for such a long time. A lot of the guys weren't even born when we started. But yeah. Oh yeah. The good old times. Oh. The memory lane. I like this memory lane. I like this a lot. Oh, the good old times. Oh. Clash was such... Like, it is just crazy to think of the success that the Clash as a game has had and how far it has developed from those times. It is the Contra is absolutely huge, but still enjoyable. I still enjoy playing Clash daily today. And you can see, uh, you couldn't watch live attacks. Like, it was not something one could do. And here, uh, because we are in the drama, drama, drama free zone. Of course, we show attacks from both sides. Um, so one... Back in the days, I usually took out one attack from the other side and showed that as a sign of uh, respect to the other side. Uh, there were a lot of cases where the other side didn't uh, desire or need any respect, so then we didn't do that. But look at this. Let's see how the zapping will go here because... These were the things. They try the same stuff. Yes, that went well. They tried the same attack strategies, but we had our base building at a different, different level at those times. And still is. Like that that was the that, that was some crazy, crazy times. Like rock building like there is no tomorrow. Yeah. It is, it is, it is a miracle. But yeah, let's see how this will end up. I think it will be a pretty okay, nice attack, even though it is done on our side. And I, I, this is something that I know people are much confused. Like, back at those times, and still, what fascinates me about Clash and, and life altogether is the beauty of the attacks. It's, it is how it is executed, how somebody has planned something, and how it does it flawlessly and then the different level is how often you can do that meaning that is your consistency well because we all know the bipolar attackers and that's a different different type of a 
a game when you just are bipolar with attacking. Look at this. And remember, there is no warden. Yeah, it's a bit difficult to do attacks when there is no protection of uh, Jesus to give you. But look at this. Still okay. Still okay. We, we accept this one. And we're going to go and see... Um, I think we're going to see a defense as the last one. Just to remember you guys and, and to freshen your memories that we have been building bases from these times, from these competitive wars up to today at the highest level of Clash and still are. And you can get those from my Patreon. So do that. At the same time, you also support the creation of these type of videos because, well, these are just amazing. Look at how many one stars there is. This is like... We were like oh, the times, oh, the memory lane. I, I kind of miss them, but then also don't because Clash was a, such a toxic, toxic place at those times. And uh, it's much, much better now. So here's a little bit of a go wipey type of a attempt, which won't go well. And notice like the different CC combinations, as you can see, there is always something a little bit different. It's some minions and some uh, witches, and we were developing those all the time. What works the best against the attackers? What surprises the attackers and what works best with each base? And here you can see a good result. This will be an absolute win. Anything that is not three star is a win, and here is a beautiful one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to have another one. I will give you a little sneak peek. Ha, I won't. What is next week's video about? You'll see that when you join up next week and, and watch. The video should be out on Sunday also. Bye-bye. I still play because of the haters. They keep me playing. They make me famous. But most importantly, I love the hate.